welcome, welcome to day number five of Code Tover. So for today, because a lot of you are asking for it, I am going to sh show you the difference between the update operator and the update function. I'm going to do this in two different videos. So for the first one, I'm just going to explain the update function because it's easier for me, <laughs> at least. Um, so we go to the update uh, documentation, the update function. It's under the values module. You will find the update uh, function here. So we take the first example that we have here. Let's copy this and paste it in our data with playground. And we see that we have the name Mariano. It's an object. And then we update this with uh, data with as the name. So let me just take this out. We see here that we have the object with the name Mariano. And then we take this and it's changed to the name data with. If we change any of this, it will be updated like that. Um, there are several ways to use this function. That is one example. You can also use the other uh, function. Yes, the function field, which also can be found here under values. So if I put this, um, we also have the object name Mariano, but then we update using the field um, part. So if we want to specify that this is a field, we just have to use this function and say name, or we can also use it without the function. And finally, finally, no, we still have more. Okay. <laughs> we also have this other, for example, if we have an array with one, two, three, and we say update position number one with five, then we will end up with one, five, three because position number one is two. And let's say if we want to select six, position number six, which doesn't exist, it will simply not update anything. So you can also use um, indexes to update and not just fields or field names. After that, we have this. So if we have a role, uh, let me just show first here. We have an object with role A named Spider-Man and role B named Batman. So if we select update role with superhero, then the two roles will be updated. You can also use field and both of them will be updated. And you remember how we just used this. So instead of using just the number one, you can also use index number one. And those are different functions. So I can explain them, but it will have to be in another video just because I don't want to make these videos that long. Okay, so the, we did that one and then this one is a more complex example. So again, let's, okay. So if we have username Mariano, so we have an object, we have first user, and then we have a name, and in the name we have Mariano, and we want to update uh, the name field, we can use update, and then in an array, you have first user, and then field name, and that will be updated with data wave. So um, you can also, let's see what happens if I take out the field here. It still works. Okay, so you can also use that as an example. And that's it. <laughs> so those are the the different ways to use the update function. And remember that you have to import here 
you can also use if you just want to import the update function you can just just do this but then if you want to use a field oops um function here for the name in this case you won't be able to because you're not importing it in the module so you just have to take it go here and add it if you want to add like every single function instead of just using the asterisk in my opinion i prefer to import every single function because that way i will know where the function is coming from if you have several modules here um i'm just gonna put the same one but if you have different modules here then you will not know exactly which module is importing the update and the field function so i just prefer to uh, put them here explicitly that it just makes my life easier but it's okay if you don't want to and you just want to use the asterisk all right so i hope that update function was useful let me know if you have a more complex example and we can review it in this code tober you have the whole month so uh, make sure you comment my videos or send me an email in my website all right, my name is Alexander Martinez. You can follow me on socials as at DevAlexMartinez. And this is Code Tover. See you later. Bye.